always wanted to visit the glorious Pyrenees. Now I had the chance to. In preparation for this trip, I spent time researching the best day hikes. So, with my friend Pierre, we hiked the top four trails, each one best in its own category, which gives us the diversity needed for a first time visit. But now, let's start from the beginning. We launched our trip from Barcelona and headed north to the Pyrenees. The Spanish side has a milder climate, blown in from the Mediterranean, and coming closer to the French border the weather changed with snow appearing on the peaks. The hike to Lac de Gaube is by far the most popular lake hike in the Pyrenees, and it's the easiest one in our list. So Pierre, is it true it's your first time in France? Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> Let's put some French music on. In the summer season, and I guess in the winter season too, the cable car is operating and takes you up one kilometer away from the lake. The two other candidates for the best lake hike are the Esteni Saint Laurisi loop on the Spanish side and the Lacs de Use in the French part, but in mid November it was already closed due to snow. Lac de Gaube means the lake lake, so it's truly the lake of lakes in the Pyrenees. So peaceful here, there's nobody here except for the two of us. After waiting for half an hour, the skies cleared up a bit and the lake showed its true beauty.
The Cirque de Gavarni is a spectacular natural amphitheater, one which will pop up most frequently if you Google for the Pyrenees. It can be accessed from a small town through a wide road, but there's also a high path which we will take. The only people we met on the trail were some hunters and their funny dogs who wanted to follow us. It's also possible to do the hike on the other side of the valley. There's, as you can see, there's a trail here, but um, I recommend doing this side because here you get this beautiful revealing moment. On that side, you just see the, the waterfall right away. From afar, the waterfall looks tiny at this time of year, but actually it's massive. The walls are stretching 1.5 kilometers high. We just saw a rockfall. Uh, it was next to the waterfall. I don't know how safe it is to go there now. So we sent our drone. Back in Spain, we started our day with a traditional Spanish breakfast in the little village of Eco. From here, we set out to explore a true hidden gem.
we are heading towards the valley which is called Aguas Tuertas, it means something like one eyed waters. After leaving our donation, we went out to see the first highlight. guys and then you turn to the right side and the rain awaits From Mount Secus, it goes back down into the Red Valley at the foot of Castillo de Ager, which can also be climbed, but that's for a separate day hike.
Our last hike leads us to the 1,000 years old village of Torla. It lies at the foot of the majestic natural gate to the Ordesa Valley. Here we will climb its northern canyon wall and do the Fajaracón hike, which is probably the most popular hike in the Spanish Pyrenees. So today our trail leads to the Faja Aracon, but uh, we will try to make a detour to Tozel de Malo. The first part of climbing is over, soon we will reach the second one, but this is a beautiful place for the waterfall. There are plenty of water refilling options on the trail, so that's a, that's a good one.
then, contrary to the weather forecast, suddenly dark clouds were blown in and while I took my drone out, it already started snowing. It starts snowing and it snows really fast so the ground is already white. So it's gonna be challenging to get back down but uh, maybe snow is better than rain. Yeah, this isn't that bad. It's uh, it's actually very sticky and the good thing is with the fog you don't see the drop. You saw the, the cliff that we were uh, climbing, blue skies, now it looks like this. So yeah, that's, that's the Pyrenees, be prepared. Time for the trekking poles, now I will make them a little bit longer. For the descent. Back at the waterfall, the detour ends here and we continue the initial loop to Fajara Con. Hey, stop. Do you see that? Let's rewind it. See him? Yeah, he was spying on me. So I thought let's check him out with the drone. Since he didn't look afraid at all, let's try to get even closer. Look at him, the king of the mountain. Let's follow him for a bit.
Okay, enough for now. Let's get back to the trail. So we're doing this hike in November and it's, it's mid-November and we haven't met anyone on this trail so far. So I don't know but November seems like a really really nice time uh, for hiking in the Pyrenees. If you like hiking alone, you know, having the trail for yourself. There are occasional rock falls. Crazy. My buddy Pierre stood silently staring at this mountain for a minute or so and then he said This is one of the moments in life when you find yourself with tears in the eyes So majestic is God's creation And I, I couldn't agree more <laughs> 